Hello, so I'm feeding back from the primary care group, so most of us work in practices and PTNs. So I think I, perhaps I reinterpreted that an enabler means, but we were sort of thinking of what can we offer in terms of um, a placement in general practice. Um, so I think it's they can sort of ha it's an opportunity to see the pharmacist <coughs> role in general practice, which is still quite new. So what you know when they're making their placement choices for their foundation year or for their future, do they having that experience is you know it will sort of enable them to make some sort of little bit more of an informed choice of what they might enjoy going forward in their career. Um, so it's a pra very practical in general practice. There's lots of opportunities to do, I think. But coming to that, I think defining the entrustable tasks is going to be something that we would want to be having more firm, especially because the five days and the ten days are really small. When we have um, a new pharmacist starting in general practice, they could be on a two-week induction program, and then they start. So then what can we do in five days? What can we do in ten days? So I think in terms of the enablers coming back to them, really good opportunities for counselling, shared decision making, risk benefit, discussions with the patient, creating a management plan, you know, this is what we, you know, what you feel, this is what we're going to do next, or how do you feel about that, and then moving to what would be the plan and what would be a review and a follow-up. So lots of opportunities for like case studies and reviewing things maybe the night before having a look at the records of who's coming in the next day, three, four patients. Um, again, opportunities for clinical decision making. And throughout this, what a very important thread that runs through is capacity and consent. So I often have pharmacists, when they debrief with me, say, well, they didn't really want the statin and their cholesterol is... And I'm like, mm, did, they, did you explain the risk benefit? Um, do they have capacity? Yeah. So you have to respect people's different health beliefs what do they want? So this is a really good practical experience for that. We've also got opportunities for care homes, uh, home visits. So in our team, uh, pharmacists are doing long, uh, minor illness. So then they go to do home visits. And if you didn't have a pharmacist doing a home visit, you'd definitely have a paramedical nurse practitioner. So you've got lots of different people working in general practice. So the MDT team, um, physios, dietitians, um, all these R's roles. Um, very good opportunities for clinical skills, practical skills, to try, you know, manual blood pressure, foot checks, you know, these sorts of physical skills could definitely be an opportunity. Um, and also maybe care homes. This is probably a unique placement where there is an opportunity to do some care home work. I think the barriers could be we would want to have time to discuss the clinic, having the time to debrief and discuss the clinic. Some pharmacists work from home. Probably one of our biggest barriers actually to having a, a student actually is there's no rooms in general practice, so we are often working from home. But you could plan um, and say this is the placement we can speak to the practice manager and say, look, we need to have a clinical room that week. Again, sickness absence, we could be a small team in some places, a bigger team in other places, so maybe have a plan back up in place. Who's going to lead it in your absence if you're unwell? Again, sometimes face-to-face -face clinics need a, a particular room. You could be in practice, but sharing a big office for telephone work. But if you wanted to give the experience of face-to-face, -face, then you would have to book clinical rooms ahead in some <coughs> practice. Quality assurance, I think, because the time is very limited. I, we were saying that perhaps the timetable would be, obviously, what you can cover. It doesn't have to be Monday, you have to do this, but it could be in that week try and cover these elements. And I think that would maybe address some variations that you might have.